Alright guys, I'm gonna take a quick ride to Walmart and pick up some sea stroke oil. I just figured I'd video it while I am riding. Um And I figured I could show how I'm having trouble starting my bike for some reason. I think it's something to do with timing, but I do not know. Either way, let's get it on. Hey guys, I just wanted to jump in real quick and clarify something. This happened about two days after the last video I put up where... I put those two motors together, which was recorded about two weeks prior from me actually putting it up, and this kind of came out of nowhere, but we figure it out. Oh boy. Put a little choke on. Oh, that worked almost right away. Alright. So now we know. A little bit of choke goes a long way. guys welcome back to Johnny's motorized bicycles and today I'm gonna try to figure out why my bike decided to stop running I'm not sure if I'm putting the video I recorded this morning in or not or it might have been yesterday morning actually it was running funny and I don't know it's it's been hard to start I was honestly thinking start is just a fueling issue I think it's a little too lean so I was going to fatten it up but now that I am going to go to Walmart it will not start at all I'm not getting any pops or nothing so I'm still gonna you know start with the carburetor because I think it was a fueling issue to begin with but um, <clears throat> I really have no idea at this point the motor gets really hot hotter than it should but uh, when it's running it runs like a champ it loves the high rpms it's got a lot more power in the high rpms so i, I really don't know to be honest with you but uh, we're going to take a look at it and we're going to try oh uh side note i'm going to be recording in a different location for the next month probably um they moved us from where we were uh, basically we're waiting on housing there's more to do with our whole story uh, until we get into the official place i just don't want to talk about it uh, but once we are in our official place i will 100 percent talk about it and tell you the whole story about what's going on and the truth and whatnot so for now we'll just say i'm recording in a new location the new location is an old drive-through used to be a pharmacy drive through I think a Rite Aid or maybe a Walgreens, I'm not really sure. But it is now a Dollar Tree. And that's, you know, that shade. See the shade? So I stay out of the sun and I can record. Alright, just really quick, I took off the cover for the Magneto. Um, just to see how she looks. Make sure it's not spraying oil or anything in there. And it seems to be okay. What do you mean? Seems to be good. It's loose. I don't think that's a problem. Good spacing. There's no oil leaking in here. So honestly, I'm happy with the way this looks. I know minimal, but I feel that looks good. So I guess we'll say we're good with that. Okay, next. Okay guys, I did take off the carburetor. Uh, you can see it's a lot cleaner. Um, but I got a phone call while I was doing it um, about my daughter. 
So to be honest, I just kept working while I was on the phone call and I didn't think to record it because I was busy taking that call. So whatever is what it is. However, I'm about to pop the head off and see how it is in there because I don't know what's going on. This is bad. I mean, it could just be spark, coil, that whole thing going on. So, um, you know, if that's the case, then we'll go to that. But let me check the inside first and then I will pop the cover back off here and I will put my drill on it and I'll spin it over and look for spark. Because it's possible that the CDI is bad. You know, definitely possible. I did notice in the higher RPMs it was skipping. Uh, right before I stopped riding it today, uh, when it was still running on the way back from Walmart, it was very bad. Like it was, it was hit or miss and it wouldn't rev up high. Um, that's kind of what made me think it might have been the, uh, the jet, but um, it was just acting really funny. I thought it was a fueling issue because of me thinking it was running lean already, but uh, I did have it in the back of my mind thinking this could very well be spark. So um, let me pop the head off, see how it looks in there, and I guess we'll take it from there and see what happens then, right? Okay, so let's see if I'm right with the amount of carbon I feel is in there. <laughs> yeah, well, there's definitely carbon in there. Look right there. That, see that? That is literally spraying right out of the back and spraying right out of the front. See that? It's literally just coming right past the gasket. And then that's the back. Also, uh, something I noticed, when you take these off, if you plan on reusing it, which most of us do, make sure you remember which way it was on so you can put it back on in the same way. There is some carbon, but I don't see anything insane. Rings look good, guys. There's definitely some blow-by happening here. This one definitely moves around. That's gotta be from the high RPMs. I run it because I'm an idiot. Do as I say, not as I do, but I don't care about the blow-by. The chrome lining is still good. I mean, all in all, everything looks real clean. All right, I'm going to turn you guys off, and I'm going to try to take a closer look at this and just see what I can come up with, because I honestly, I don't see anything terrifying in here that would make it not run. So, all right, give me a few. Let's see what I come up with. And if I do make a new gasket, I will definitely bring you along for it, because it will be the first time I make one. I have a piece of copper somewhere, and you and I, yes, you, and I are going to make a head gasket. And I've never made a copper gasket. I've never made a head gasket, period. So this is gonna be a learning curve for both of us. But like I always say, I could do anything. Still another reason why it's not started. So we still gotta figure that whole thing out. I have a feeling it might be CDI or something along those lines, but that is for another moment. Let's get this gasket made. Okay, like I said, this is my big piece of copper. I bought it at the scrapyard. Um, I traced out the head gasket. Now, with the X's, that's where the oval part starts. Um, really, it's just for reference, so I know which side's which. Um, I'm gonna cut out the holes and start with that. Uh, cut out part of the middle and then I want to get it onto the piece and go from the inside and mark it, I think. And we'll see how that goes. So we got plenty of tries. Let's go for it and see what happens. All right, worst that could happen is it don't work. Okay, so far I 
Yes, I am working inside of a desk drawer because it helps keep the mess. So I got the outside holes drilled and I drilled a bunch of big holes just to get rid of some of the material so it's less to deal with and I can pretty much go wherever I want and open it up from there. I am going to make the outside cuts last because this way I got something to hold on to basically, that's the truth. Um, but all in all, it's looking good so far. So let's see how we keep going. Okay, new plan. I'm just taking it and I'm going around the holes and eating it up. So I don't know. Let's hope this works, right? Okay, guys. Uh, done. Smoothed out. Pretty flat. The only issue I actually had was was it here. I don't know if you could tell, but it's a little out of round. But <clears throat> it covers the whole thing. It covers it better, a little better than this. So see that one spot up there? Oh, that's offline. I don't know. Well, it will definitely seal, and that part that's out is going to be on the side. So there's more meat. I'm going to have to make more of these, and I'll get better as I do it. But for a prototype, I think it looks half decent. We'll definitely see how it is, and. Uh, you know, I'll keep you informed on what happens. All right, I am back outside. So, it was basically wore through right there. It's very stiff. Uh, the other one I had to scrape off the uh, bottom of the cylinder and then wire brush it because it was so bad. So, uh, hopefully these will work out just fine from this way, actually. They should, you know? I got two of them. I cut the other one out exactly to the, uh, what you call it, to the cylinder head. But the second one I left bigger because, see how flimsy and small it gets? So I don't like that. So I'm going to use that as a secondary gasket. And let's hope for the best. Should the grease the cylinder walls, just so it's not a dry start. Right in. And all in all, for the first try, not bad, I think. Alright, so this is going to be hard to do, but I'm going to try to put you up here. Okay, so this should ground out on the spark plug. And throw some spark. Literally nothing. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another CDI and I'm just gonna wire it in and see if that works like a brand new one. If that doesn't work, then I think it's safe to say the sense, right? If I put a brand new CDI on and the brand new CDI doesn't work, it's got to be the Magneto. I don't know, let's figure this out. Alright guys, the CDI that I grabbed up real quick, I had, I don't know, a long while ago, I cut the ends of the wires off because I needed that end for another project. So for now, I just took the wire from the CDI, I slid it through the magneto wire, and I just folded it over the end. I'm not sure if you can get that or not, but I'm hoping you are. I'm going to put you up here, and hopefully you can see this. Let's see if uh, we got some spark pillow. Can you see it? So, <clears throat> we got spark. What does that tell me? tells me that that CDI is no good. So we're going to replace that CDI. But we are going to use the wires. Since the CDI is no good, I'm just cutting it off here. This has the wire on it. That's a black one. 
I am thinking about switching it to this one just because why not? But because if I switch to the red wire, does that make it the high voltage? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to use the red wire. So, this is the good CDI. I'm just putting it on. Screwing it in. And just screw it till it stops. Boom. And it stopped. And there you go. There you have it. So everything I just did to the bike really wasn't necessary because the only thing that actually was wrong was the CDI was bad. But that's okay. The other stuff honestly needed to be done. Um, Alright, I still gotta do a test drive. But I'll be honest with you. I am starting to clean my tools up. when I feel like I have 100% figured something out and I found a big problem that would definitely cause the issue I'm having to happen before I test drive I start cleaning up because it's kind of like saying I got this you know what I mean chocolate shake from Wawa Yum. Okay. Okay, that. I can actually live with that. I put it back exactly where it was and it is doing wonderful actually. So I'm happy with that. So yay, we fixed it. Um, it does start up better. It is running smoother. I think there was a combination of things going on there honestly. That the bottom, the base gaskets, they were torched from overheating issues. The top was having a lot of blow by which in turn is lost compression once it heats up especially. So the new gasket on top is definitely helping. The base gaskets are helping. Um, and the new CDI is just smoothed it out. I didn't take any long rides, obviously, but as of now, we're doing great. So if you can, do me a favor. Just pay attention, because this is really important. Especially you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, right here. All right, thank you. So if you could do me a favor, hit the like button. Hit the dislike button. Or rather you're not even that one. But hit whatever the button, I don't care. Um, subscribe, because that just is cool. I'm getting close to 400, well, not really close, huh? 350 plus subscribers. So that's incredible, considering I'm an absolute nobody. Um, just some dude from New Jersey that enjoys these stupid bikes. Um, uh, most of all, most important to me is drop me a line. Say what's up, tell me what you're building, and if you get a chance, go over to Johnny's Motorized Bikes on Facebook, join, and post your stuff there so I can see what's going on, have conversations with me, whatever. I talk to a lot of guys on there, a couple of you, um, so if you could do that, that'd be really awesome because uh, that's just a, another way for me to talk. Like I said, the main thing about this is I enjoy talking with you guys, so thanks for watching as always. I'll talk to you later. Peace.